हेलो एवरीवन सो वी आर बैक विद द न्यू वीडियो दैट इज़ आई पी डी मयमेंट आई पी टी मीन्स द इंटर प्यूपलरी डिस्टेंस द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द प्यूपल ऑफ वो दी आईज राइट सो सेंटर ऑफ प्यूपल ऑफ वो दी आईज डिस्टेंस इज दी आई पी डी एंड वाई इज इट सो इम्पॉर्टेंट टू मयर द आई पी डी और इंटर प्यूपलरी डिस्टेंस बिकॉज वी नो दैट मैक्सिमम पावर ऑफ द ग्लासेज आर एट द ऑप्टिकल सेंटर सो because we want to align the optical center with the real axis of patient's eye that is why we need to measure the ipd right so that we know that patient's optical center is aligned by the help of the ipd so when we know the ipd of a patient we can align the optical axis now over here the, there is written that ipd for distance and near is measured separately right so we know that at distance our eyes are a bit diverging and for the near our eyes are a bit converging that is why we need to measure the ipd for distance and near separately and distance ipd is 2 to 3 mm more as compared to near ipd it is because i have already told that when we are viewing something far away from us our eyes are a bit diverging right so when our eyes are diverging in in the diverging state so they are outward di in the di outward direction so ipd will be more but when we have uh, we are focusing something near or close up object so what will happen that our eyes will converge and when our eyes will converge the distance between the two eyes will be decreased right so that is why the ipd at near will be less as compared to the distance ipd that is why they are saying that the distance ipd is 2 to 3 mm more as compared to the near ipd right so in this picture we are just uh, showing you what we were discussing in the previous slide as i have already told you that in this distance pd what is happening that our eyes are a bit diverging right so when they are in a bit uh, outward direction so there is the distance between the pupil will be more but when we are uh, watching something close or something we are focusing close up object so what happens that our eyes are converging so they are in moving inward or towards the nose so in that case what happens at the distance between the two eyes or the the center of the two two eyes are decreased is decreased right so what will happen that the distance pd will be more as compared to the near pd that is why we have already said that we need to measure the distance pd and near pd separately what because if a patient goes with the a uh, distance pd for near glasses so he will definitely face problems in focusing the object because the eyes are in the converging state while we are focusing something near right so if we have done we have prescribed distance pd for the near so what will happen optical center will be displaced patient may have prismatic effect or he may have a uh, problem in focusing the near objects right so that is why it is very important to separate distance pd and near pd separately so here are three reference points by which you can measure the interpupillary distance so one is you can take the nasal limbus of right eye and measure it until the temporal limbus of the left eye you can either take the temporal limbus of right eye and take the readings up to the nasal limbus of the left eye or either you can take center of both the pupils of the eye so the easiest way to measure the ipd is to take the limbal margins right because it is very difficult for us to uh, take the center of the pupil of both eyes because there can be an error measurement errors for us right so while you are calculating or measuring evaluating the ipd manually you should take the reference point as the limbal margins it can be either temporal or nasal but if you remember this thing that if you are taking the nasal of one eye you have to take the temporal limbus of the other eye right and if you are taking the temporal of one eye you have to take the nasal of the other eye so how we are going to calculate or measure the distance ipd the first step is that examiner and patient should sit in front of each other and they should be at the same level now what you have to do is the examiner should ask the patient to focus the or fixate at the examiner's left eye while the examiner's right eye is closed 
एग्जामिनर अपनी राइट आई को बंद करेगा और पेशेंट को बोलेगा कि मेरी लेफ्ट आई की तरफ देखो वेन द एग्जामिनर विल फोकस और द पेशेंट विल फिक्सेट एट द एग्जामिनर इज लेफ्ट आई और द ओपन आई द एग्जामिनर विल प्लेस द रूलर एट द पेशेंट्स राइट आई राइट अब क्योंकि एग्जामिनर की राइट आई के सामने क्लोज आई के सामने लेफ्ट आई होगी और ओपन आई के आगे राइट आई होगी सो द एग्जामिनर विल प्लेस द रूलर सेंटीमीटर स्केल और द नॉर्मल स्केल इन फ्रंट ऑफ द लिम्बस टेम्पोरियल लिम्बस ऑफ द पेशेंट्स राइट आई एंड द रीडिंग विल बी जीरो सो हेयर यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज अ पेशेंट हु इज सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ द एग्जामिनर द राइट आई इज ऑफ द पेशेंट इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ द लेफ्ट आई ऑफ एग्जामिनर एंड लेफ्ट आई ऑफ पेशेंट इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ द राइट आई ऑफ एग्जामिनर द एग्जामिनर क्लोज इज हिज राइट आई एंड एज द पेशेंट टू फिक्स एड विद द लेफ्ट आई तो वेन द पेशेंट विल सी हिज लेफ्ट आई वट विल हैपन दैट द एग्जामिनर विल टेक द रूलर एंड प्लेस इट टू द टेम्पोरल मार्जिन ऑफ द पेशेंट्स राइट आई द वन द आई विच इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ द ओपन वन देन वॉट हैपन्स दैट द एग्जामिनर क्लोज इज हिज लेफ्ट आई एंड आज द पेशेंट टू फिक्स एट एट द एग्जामिनर इज राइट आई सो यू वेरी क्लियरफुली वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज दैट द एग्जामिनर शुड हैव टू क्लोज हिज लेफ्ट आई नाउ एंड आज द पेशेंट टू फिक्स एट एट द राइट आई देन प्लेस द रूलर टू द नेजल लिम्बर्स ऑफ पेशेंट्स लेफ्ट आई सो हेयर यू कैन सी दैट नाउ यू एग्जामिनर विल क्लोज हिज लेफ्ट आई एंड आज द पेशेंट टू फिक्स एट एट द राइट आई ऑफ द एग्जामिनर देन यू हैव टू मार्क द रीडिंग फ्रॉम द टेम्पोरल लिम्बर्स टू द नेजल लिम्बर्स ऑफ द लेफ्ट आई एंड मार्क दैट रीडिंग इन दिस इज द आई पी डी इन सेंटीमीटर्स एंड यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट इन टू द मिली मीटर्स लेटर सो हेयर नाउ इन द नियर आई पी डी वट विल हैपन दैट वी वॉन्ट समथिंग द समथिंग दैट इज क्लोज अप सो दैट आई मे बी कन्वर्ट राइट तो आई को कन्वर्ट करवाने के लिए वी विल आस्क द पेशेंट द एग्जामिनर विल आस्क द पेशेंट टू फिक्स द examiners or his own nose when the patient will see the nose of the examiner the eyes will converge a bit so he will the examiner will take the ruler and place it to the temporal limbus of patient's right eye to the nasal limbus of the patient's left eye and not their reading in the centimeter and later convert it into the millimeters so here in this picture you can see that examiner's uh, nose is being fixating point or is the fixed point of fixation and then the ruler is placed to the patient's right eye temporal limbus to the nasal limbus of the left eye and this is a near ipd which is the uh, reading in the centimeters you have to convert it into the millimeters and this is the calculation and this is how you can measure the distance ipd as well as the near ipd of the patient right so now how you can uh, document distance pd and near pd here you can see it can be written as distance pd by near pd so if a patient has distance pd of 64 mm and near pd of 61 mm so how you can document it you can write 64 by 61 that will show that distance pd is first and near pd is afterwards so this is how you can calculate ipd or maya ipd interpupillary distance in any patient in case of any query regarding this topic you can comment in comment section and thank you so much